Okay, I held off on making any videos because a lot can happen in some time, like has happened every season I've tried this, so welcome back. This is the 2024 attempt at growing a giant pumpkin in Albuquerque. This plant was planted, well, started early April. It is the 966 angle 2023, which is a cross between another angle and a rotaba giant pumpkin. I forget the specifics on the top of my head, but I got this planted out probably first week of May. Get the shade fabric up. It was planted first week of May, covered up with a tote for warmth, that kind of thing. Uh, fed with bone meal, blood meal, preseason planting, and all that. Added a whole lot of stuff preseason, now that I think about it. And as we went along, burying vines, a lot of vine burying. Uh, some of this looks a little rough because about a week and a half ago, a pretty severe windstorm came through, tore apart my PVC structure and threw some PVC down on a baby pumpkin I had growing that was about a week old. I've since taken that pumpkin off since it was damaged and it wasn't really the one I wanted anyway. So let's go all the way down the line. This bed is roughly 15 feet wide and about 25 feet long. Uh, oval shaped, so we're looking at roughly 340-ish square feet. We have gotten to the point where we are nearly out of space. I've had to extend the shade fabric a little bit. We're nearly out of space, and this is the main vine tip. Only about a hand distance away from the end of the bed. Everything else behind it is coming up nicely, burying religiously with potting soil and putting in mycos. Um, every couple, a little bit of sunburn on a lot of these leaves with the uh, westerly facing area of the bed. Every couple days or so I feed with uh, fish and seaweed, uh, cow mag for foliar feeding since We've actually been getting a little bit of rain lately, so the bed stayed pretty wet. Uh, so the cow mag, I'm using some master blend. I'm using cool bloom for bloom and ants uh, at this stage with the pumpkin. So before I get much further, I just wanted to go over some of those details. Pest control, we're using bonide for systemic, uh, amid dichloprid, or dichloprid, what, you know. You know the ingredients for killing squash bugs and such. And I'm also using Merit, which is uh, active ingredient Bifen. Spraying pretty often because, you know, Albuquerque, high desert, gets pretty dry out here, pretty hot. So I have a misting system, actually, that you can see lined up along the shade fabric. Misting system. Unfortunately, I don't have a timer for that misting system, so uh, I just, when it's hottest parts of the day, come out, turn it on for a couple minutes, turn it off, come back 15 minutes later, do it again, repeat, 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 until the hottest part of the day is over and this whole bed is in shade. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we had a pollination around that area, damaged, wasn't didn't have very many secondaries on it either. Uh, it was pretty midway through the patch, so no sense in keeping that. This one that we have here, oh, let me get this sheet off of it in a second. So this is July 2nd. I pollinated this one on June 20th, so that makes this 12 days old. 12 days after pollination. Uh, not quite certain the size, but the one I cut off earlier was at day 14 and probably was actually right about the same size. So we're moving ahead a little bit. When I last counted the secondaries behind this, I believe it was around 17 or 18 secondaries. Uh, so it's in a much better position. 
got the pool noodles supporting the vine on this side as well right there got the play sand and I don't know if you can call this one a backup pollination yeah there we go I don't know if that's necessarily a backup because it's not in a great position I haven't really done anything for it once I'm absolutely confident that this one is going and taking off in the next few days probably get rid of that one not a lot of flowers under here either I've been getting rid of those focus the growth on the pumpkin uh, I just treated with some more of the bone-eyed granules today because it seems like under here there's a fair bit of aphids uh, have been lucky enough that I've only had a few squash bugs that I've killed I've killed probably like five this year total by hand it just seems like they're they're tending to stay away more or less and uh, I can't I couldn't be more happy about that so I guess that's more or less the the update I wanted to provide there's a little bit of damage from that windstorm some leaves are knocked over but I think all in all we've recovered pretty well and by tomorrow morning that'll be eh, maybe tomorrow afternoon that'll be the end of that bed I'll terminate the end of the vine these last few will end up reaching up here obviously with a little bit of a oval shaped bed I couldn't do main and then you know Christmas tree style I had to do more or less main followed by curve things around so that's more or less how things are going is several fingers of vines growing this way more or less if you want to look at it that way uh, yeah so that's about all I have for right now I will check back in when things are looking a little bit further along.